everyone, welcome to a very unusual episode. We're going to call this the Token Games Arms Talk. Now, for those of you who may or may not know, besides those things attached to your shoulders, Arms is an up-and-coming video game that's soon to release on the Nintendo Switch, and it's got a bit of a boxing motif to it, but it ain't no Wii Boxer, let me tell you that, homie. Uh, we have some of our people, more specifically, ye old Michael Hill, go ahead and say what's up. What up, though? <laughs> Participate in the beta global test server crap, which is going on over the course of 14 days. Now, I'm going to get in on it tomorrow, but since you already got there before us, before me, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell me what happened while I get some ARMS gameplay footage. Alright, forget everything you fucking learned in that shitty Wii Boxing game from 10 years ago. ARM cranks that shit up to fucking 11, my dude. The gameplay is so smooth for when you punch it actually feels like the flow of how you're supposed to punch. There isn't a fucking exploitable meta out right now where people are just going to build this character up and say I'm going to do this for the whole entire match for every match I have played and everything's fucking bounds like it's supposed to be it's also uh, instead of a 2D layout like Street Fighter it's a 3D layout like in a Budokai Tenkaichi game where you can fucking go around the whole entire map and jump and dodge and actually use skill and strike from different sides the setup I use for my fist on my left hand is the boomerang as I've noticed I've always curved my fucking punch my swing to the left and then my right hand the missiles to finish up that coverage it's like three knuck on your knuckles are like three tiny missiles and then when you ult it actually shoots missiles and then the boomerang turns into a tornado uh oh Dr. Doomfinger laser sounding ass mhm mm let's see Honestly, the thing I also found out what I loved about it is that the game don't stop until your fist it when your first when that last fist is thrown, the game don't stop till it comes back. As I learned, I'm probably one of the only few people who've got probably the only person right now, or the few people who's actually got a draw in the, one of the game modes. See the game mode I was playing, it was 2v2, me and some other dude versus two other people. And we were winning. We knocked out their partner and we were about to finish it up but my boy got thrown and died and I died right after him but I threw up my left hook and I knocked that motherfucker out and it said draw I'm like yes this game is awesome <laughs> man the only shitty game mode I've played right now is this fucking ass volleyball game where if you haven't played the volleyball game or you should know how to play volleyball but you're not cognizant enough to figure it out in arms in the beginning you're just gonna get dunked on because people who already see the game mode setting up are just gonna pick the basic fist and just go I'm gonna spike the ball over and over again because you know how to play and then it took me forever to realize that when you use the grab function which is throw out both your fish you can spiral the ball upwards so you can spike it other than that your team or whoever you're playing against just gonna look like your retard just punching the ball over and over and over again Ugh. So, Did they have the basketball mid game? I didn't get to play that. I googled it and I saw that when they had a basketball game. I didn't get to dunk on anybody yet. But best believe when when that game fully come out, I'm dunking on a motherfucker. Just let that people know. You're a black person. They better come correct. Or you gonna stomp their ass. <laughs> Right now, it is apparently we were born into basketball greatness. No one gave me this memo. Not that I'm sucky, but no one gave me this memo. But yeah, apparently we're born into basketball greatness of all things. Or rappers. Okay, well, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. How were the controls? The controls are amazing. Because instead of, like I said earlier, that shitty. We, we boxing where they somewhat detected your fist going in a general direction and then even though when you threw when your arm threw a power hit it did a basic hit and when you barely jab somebody it did the power hit the game actually can tell how you're punching and where you're pu punching it actually has better controls for when you move both the sticks left and right because I just used the 
I didn't use like the weird controller thing that came with the Switch. I wanted to get the boxing experience hands on, so I put it, took out the Joy Coms, and went to town. And they responded perfectly. Granted, it's gonna feel weird because you gotta turn the Joy Coms vertically instead of like having the D pad facing you, facing you. You gotta turn it inwards and then like have the thumb up. But it was simple pick. It was a simple pickup, and then you can also see how you're throwing your fist, and then figure out which glove fits you perfectly. Interesting choice of phrasing. Well, I mean, I already know most of this stuff because, for those of you who don't remember, because I pretty much never bring it up unless I'm, you know, directly in front of someone's face. I was part of the tech demonstration for the Chicago chapter of this, so I got to play everything pretty much five days ahead of everybody, including arms. Now, and from what it sounded like, this global test punch is a more fl fully fleshed out version, which I'm happy about. But let me ask you this, uh, Senor Hio. Did you ever try the game in a controller dock or with the pro controller, or did you specifically stick with only Joy-Cons in hands? I only stuck with Joy-Cons in hands because even though it's controller palatable, it's going to take away from what I want to do. Because when I saw the controller for ARMS, it was lit. Like, it actually seemed like they re on how a controller is supposed to move for when they went for the Wii. And you have to use a sensor bar, but sometimes the sensor bar was terrible depending on the size of your TV. And then the Wii U with their gamepad. Even though they had the Wii Motion Plus, it still didn't really help. And now they have fully advanced. It was like, we don't need any of that extra peripheral shit. Our controllers will know how you're supposed to move. That's my own personal preference. Why I didn't hook it up to the weird controller dock was because I wanted to actually feel what they were trying to sell to me. To make sure I actually would like the game. And I love it. That's probably 99.9% .9 of the people who are going to get this game. But there is a special advantage to the control methodology that I got told specifically by the professional demonstrator, the one that goes on tour with Nintendo everywhere, pretty much, about using a controller. But we're not going to discuss that here because, hey, we're going to team up and squad up on some hoes. So let's not give them an advantage. Moving on. Okay. Now, I don't know how it was as far as the music, but well, this will be a general purpose thing. Including the music that you heard and the sound effects, again, that you heard. How do you rate or how do you like literally what you're hearing in the game? Um, 6 out of 10, because it was pretty basic. Like, the main focus of the sounds was to show here the shot calling of everybody's punches, their charged up punches, and their specials, and when the items drop. Personally, I like to have my TV lower volume so I couldn't really hear the background music or the weird crowd cheering they always have in every sports game, but it was pretty decent. Like, if you want to have it set up for certain... Yeah, that might help. See if your TV got an audio jack, that might help. Probably does somewhere. Okay, well, let me ask you about the actual combat. And when I say the actual combat, I don't just mean, yeah, you can swing your arms. I mean, give me more detail on it. How was the precision? How were the different arms you used? Tell me about the combat as a whole, not how it felt. All right, combat as a whole. Everything I did respond to how I wanted to. Granted, it was very confusing. Not confusing, just sometimes disorienting for me. Because the jump is on the right thumb, and then the dodge, or not the dodge, the sprint, is on the left one. I didn't like when I held down the run to run faster with charge up my fist. That's the only thing I'd like to take. How if it was held on the jump button, I could jump and charge and then work around that instead of what I'm trying to navigate, you're going to charge up my fist. Besides the small gripe I have with that, I'm pretty sure I can change that later in the game. 
as I already told you, the punching was perfect. Every arc that I've swung, because I noticed I've always used curve shot, the game went with that in each different fist. Okay, to explain better the things I told you about the missile fist and the boomerang, when I curved with the boomerang, it gave me that extra arc so I could easily get around obstacles that these people were trying to hide behind and knock them out. That's how I got the double KO in the game I was playing. He stood right of the wall and he threw out his basic toaster punch. They call that the basic fist toaster. And then I curved him with the boomerang. The boomerang went around the pillar he was trying to hide behind and knocked him in the back of the head. Now, the missile I want to use on my right hand, because I don't curve my right hand too much, or the way that the people I'm fighting don't push to the right too much to where I need to get that extra around them. In its base form, I can throw off my fist and then two, three other smaller like knuckles shoot out. However, when I use the super form, it turns into actual like three missiles that shoot out. And for the boomerang, it forms a tornado and it spins the people into different areas. Now you also gotta understand there's the rock, paper, scissors type of combat in there. Where details, details. <clears throat> guarding well, kind of more so, not full rock, paper, scissors, because if it was, that grabbing would be guarding, guarding would be punching, and then punching would be grabbing. It's more rock, paper, scissors on what kind of fist you have equipped. Because the smaller fists are obviously going to get deflected by the larger fist. However, if you have the larger fist, it has a slower launching speed, and then a good character could easily jump around that and punch you. Now, character base moving speed, they're pretty average for somebody going into boxing ring and walking at each other. The jumping, on the other hand, it's kind of like, for me, it's a little too high on the fact of when I jump and try to swing, the, my fist is either too high over my opponent or as they see me jumping, I'm shooting too slow. And that's a kind of another thing. I kind of find a little bit of gripe, but it's like whatever. The punching and return speed of your character. Because I notice in the game when I'm like trying to jab out somebody, my fist still hasn't come back yet from the initial punch but I'm just gonna have to get used to that because it was already portrayed to have a long arm in the beginning of the game however the alt that's supposed to be like you can jab it out and do your auras like you and Jojo and stuff but I felt like I could have done it faster also of another thing I forgot about in the combat you can disable other people's arms on combat to set up perfect combos and each fist has its own charge up ability the tornado the missile from what I saw there was a guy I really didn't like but I can't blame him for it because he got that set up he had a fist that had a shield on it and he knew I always swing over to my left so he threw out his right hook first which had the shield arm Immediately as I swung left because he knew it was coming and then he Hit me with like this dragon thing somebody else had it's like a The fist looks like a dragon head and like in its base form it just shoots a beam But then in its charge up form it kind of shoots like a unibeam type thing or like the Shinku Hadouken Now the stages, what? stages. There's the, there's the one where it looks like you're fighting like a steps walking up to a dojo, and that's more of a linear combat stage. There was a stage where I fought in a sewer. It's more circular, but it has a lot more obstacles. And then there's your basic arena. 
And then there's also the bonus stages of like the volleyball court or the basketball court. I didn't play the basketball one, but I did play the volleyball one. Now to better explain why I said if you were just like dumb and tried to and got into the volleyball stage and just lost. When I first went to that stage, I was done myself. I'm like, all right, we're teaming up again. We're going to beat the person. Even though the game somewhat told me what I was going to do, I set up my fist and everything, and I realized we're on a court. I'm like, what's going on here? This is this is not the game I thought we'd be playing. And then the ball came down. Then it dawned on me that we're playing volleyball. Like, okay, I'm going to do this. However, the game didn't really change your combat system. To playing volleyball. You're still boxing, but you gotta do while also playing volleyball. And those who played the beta longer than I have and got the feel of this is what I gotta do. I don't need any of my special fist for this game mode. Okay. I don't need any of the special fist for this game mode due to the fact that we're playing volleyball. While me, I still have my regular setup and I couldn't hit the volleyball right. That's why I said that. You good, man? Whoop. It seems our boy is having some mic trouble. Subscribe the... Co-op mode. Alright, so... The little co-op times where I had where it was 2v2... There's you, your partner, and then a rope. This rope is attached to your partner. Depending on how you get knocked back, you will also get knocked back with your partner. How also, excuse me, also, when your partner gets thrown, you are automatically thrown with your partner. That's how I lost, this is how I flat lost my first co-op battle with somebody. And then the second one was where I got the draw. You could really exploit the system by knocking out the first person and then switching on the 2v1. Which was very hard for me because you're focusing on trying to beat their partner's lowest character. Well, they know that and they're going to somehow have the court team coordination to beat you with their friend. Now, as for the three random arenas, I don't like how the game had this weird auto lock system where I know there's a dude next to me, and I'm trying to target that dude because I can wreck. Can, can, hmm? Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Okay, fantastic. Keep going. It's like when I was in one of my three of uh, the three man. Battle ring I was in. I knew the dude next to me because I recognized his screen name in the loading screen. I was like, I've already played with this dude before. I'm gonna take out him and go for the new guy who's gotta get used to the controls. The game immediately locked me onto the new guy. So I said, screw it. I start punching him and then I get grabbed out of nowhere. I did not see this. I could not prepare for it. And then after I get thrown, then it changes to free camera. So that's a thing. I don't like. There are other times where the call is good, and there are other times like this where it's a, like. It's a give and take. I got you. Okay, well, and you said, uh, even though we've seen it in the Nintendo Direct, which you really should watch, or at least, well, the basketball part, you said you didn't find basketball in there? I never. From the matches I played, I didn't get to a basketball match. They mostly focused seemingly. Seemingly on the fighting arena co-op and for some reason volleyball, but mostly the fighting arena and co-op. Uh huh. All right. Now, what about uh, the what you call it? Uh, break the targets. Were you able to experience that? Yes, because before you get paired up with people, you can go into the practice range and then they have the target smasher there. And you can pack just throwing different fists, angles, grabs. It was interesting. I didn't think they'd have that in there. I thought when they said practice, they were going to do like 
what you usually do in like Marvel vs. Capcom online where they just throw put you in a random com that's not gonna do anything and you just fight it. Okay. Well, um, hmm, that's that's definitely interesting. I'm trying to remember uh, am I missing anything from the talking points? Let me check the old Facebook. Controls, modes, combat, sound design, audio. Okay, well, we're almost done then. What did you like the most? And no, you can't say punch your motherfuckers in the face. What did I like the most? The fact that I can play this game and not blame anybody or anything for losing. Because, as I told you, I play with the Joy-Cons. So, when I lose, it's because user error. I didn't jump at the right time. I should have blocked instead of grabbed and other stuff. And the game modes are fast enough to where it doesn't... You don't, either I don't catch it, or it doesn't feel like they're doing the same bullshit. Like if you were to play Marvel vs. Capcom and you see another Wesker, uh, Wesker fucking Virgil and Amaterasu match up again. Like, oh fuck, I've seen this 1000 times already. Please stop. Okay. Well, uh, that, that's definitely true. You can say what you want to about a fighting game being quote unquote broken or not, but some things are universal. One of those things is certain errors or glitches that based on the type of game you're playing or fight game you're playing, you can't get away from like my personal annoying favorite, the quote unquote aerial cross up. You know, it's not broken, it's a mechanic. How the fuck is you landing in the middle of my character in such a way that the game doesn't know to put you on the left side of me or right side of me? Where in normal physics you would just fall on top of me. So since you know everybody named Mama doesn't want to have a block button, you end up fucking moving into the attack that they're about to do, or you end up standing still and walking towards them after you get after the game realizes where they fucking are. Like that's one of the only true things that annoys me. I'm used to everything else, but that just gets on my nerves. Someone could jump directly on top of my character. Instead of falling or some type of action that pushes them away, oh no, uh, the game's gonna try to figure out should you be in front of you or behind me. And since you and I both know most of the moves on map, to a certain angle press mixed with a action button, you could either do nothing or make the complete opposite of what you wanna do come out. That shit's annoying. Say what you will about Smash, but hey, side B's are only side B's for that sole reason. Take a shot every yeah, well, time. Already, oh. Yeah, well, I already know it, but I'm pretty sure we all figured it out. But uh, just in case, what did you hate the most or did not like and want to change? I changed my button layout to where when I'm holding down the run button, I'll run instead of charge up my fist. Volleyball is dumb. <laughs> and for the arena, don't automatically lock me on to one person. All the way on the other side of the map, I gotta run to in order to get into striking range. Keep it free map so I can have an idea of where I'm getting hit from left and right. Because it was very annoying trying to adjust my camera, but the game was only moving for the one person I was locked onto until I got thrown. And I'm like, now, now you can see everybody. Okay, piece of shit. Hey, technically, you can go on Nintendo's Twitter and tell them they need to fix that shit. You can actually do that. Now, that being said, uh, what characters did you play, or rather, how many characters were there selected? I don't remember, because I literally only played Spring, because I'm like, when I saw him in the Nintendo Direct, like, that's my boy. That's my fighter. Ride and die with Spring. <laughs> okay. Um, well, next time, or I guess tomorrow, if you get a chance make sure first off make sure you set your alarm because we're both in different uh, time zones then this event happens and make sure I'm awake I don't care what you got to do call me text me it's whatever but um experiment bro experiment because everybody has unique movement mechanics or they have a unique thing that they can do that affects the gameplay naturally in their favor so even without punching 
there are some people that are automatically have an advantage and a disadvantage. Like, say what you will about that mummy character, but what got me was the fact that, I don't know if you realize now, but when that motherfucker blocked, he heals. And you're one of the strongest people in the game. Like, what the fuck? That is not an ability you associate with them, but you know what? I can know why they did it. Because that gives him an advantage over everybody else who has an advantage over him, which is like 70 fucking percent of the cast. But yeah, experiment more. I'm gonna. Oh, also, just uh, totally off uh, tangent, but let me ask you something. Okay. The Smash Brothers version of Switch, you think they're gonna put somebody from ARMS in there? Or Splatoon? I don't know, because I've played both those games, and right now, I played a little. I wanted to ask you. It's hard to say, because I can't give you a full answer on ARMS right now due to the fact I've got like a few 30 minute gameplay of it. However, I can see it more in Splatoon on the fact that you could do more with the side B's and up B's and stuff. Because I can see the neutral attack being the ink blaster, the B being the their the down B and the forward B being the variation of bombs they have. Down B, forward B, and neutral B because there are different bombs for each situation. Okay. And well, now, let me ask you something. Uh, and this is going to be the last question, but what's your favorite arm combination? Mm -hmm. So far. Right now, bait them out with my right jab and then go in for the left hook with the boomerang charged up that way they go into the tornado bust one arm up into bit go in for the grab and then special okay well let me rephrase that that's cool but i meant like what mix and match up left and right arm is your favorite oh right <laughs> that's okay that was a good answer right now top pick left hand tornado right hand missile Second pick, left hand toaster, right hand missile, and then last one, toaster on the left, and then tornado. Because that's all they have unlocked right now, until I play these other characters. What the fuck is toaster? Flamethrower? Toaster is just the basic fist, but they call it toaster, because when you charge it up, you can do fire damage. Yeah, that's cool. That makes sense. Okay. Well, uh... I appreciate this. I'll be sure to play with you to get some more footage tomorrow. But I'm gonna try to get this up tonight because we might uh we might be the first ones at this bitch. Alright man, thanks again. No problem. <laughs>